Okay, hi. I am Miss Mocha. Welcome to my channel. This is my very first video. Um, I feel like I've been led by God to come to you to make this channel, put these videos out. Um, I went on a spiritual journey and so God is telling me to talk about it so that um, the world can hear it. It's, it came from God. And so what I will say, also I have a um, blog that I put out and just go look at that is more details of my spiritual journey and plus who I am as a woman. Um, it's called Single Mom Miss Mocha. So the name of my channel is Miss Mocha. Miss Mocha is, it's cute because it's my teacher name. I'm a behavior therapist and I was working at the school and this girl, my name is Mona Lisa. So, and I go by Mona or I was going by Miss Mona. And the girl was like, call me Miss Mocha. She was like, you should name, change your name to Miss Mocha or something like that. And it was cute. So it stuck with me. And plus my skin, I'm Mocha. So it's cute. So that's me, Miss Mocha or Mona, Miss Mona, Miss Mona Lisa, whatever you want to call me. But I like Miss Mocha. And I'm going to tell you more about how, why it's special to me. Mona Lisa special too. That's cute and cool. But Mocha is um, special to me. So. But anyway, so my spiritual journey, so I call myself, um, so what I wanted was a husband. I always pray for these three things, um, my career, you know, my kids and my home life and my house and my husband. So I went to God, um, after having my friend, one of my best friends, um, we went to high school together and we were really close and she showed me, um, you know, she showed me to God, basically, because she um, was into the Bible. She was changing her life, doing what the what God was telling her to do in the Bible, going to church, you know, being faithful. Living. And so I feel like that's what I wanted. I want a husband. I wanted to have a house and family and love and that. So I was like, um, I started my journey with God and I started reading the Bible, going to church. And so I got on my journey with him. And it led me here. So, I'm just wanting a husband. But God says it is not just a husband. It's a twin flame. And so, I'm going to get right to tell you what that is. So, it's like a spiritual husband. Think of like a soulmate to the highest power. It's like God's highest um, spiritual relationship outside of him. And so, how he led me to it was... First, he started with Genesis, um, Genesis 222 to be exact, because I kept seeing the numbers 222, and you know, it's, it's so much, but I will say, long story short, I started with angel numbers, that's how I kind of woke up, I started seeing these numbers repeat, 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 like 111, 222, 1111, 333, all of them, 999, all of it, right, and so... I, will, I started seeing that, so I looked into it more, found out they were angel numbers, and then I was like, okay, I got it. I went through all the numbers. I re wrote it down and studied it, and, but I kept seeing it, kept coming, kept going. So I'm like talking to God, like, well, is it more than angel numbers? Then boom, here comes the twin flame, 333. I just named 333. Um, here comes the twin flame numbers. So it was like the same numbers. They're angel numbers, but they're also angel twin flame numbers. So that pulled me into the twin flame um, direction. And so, and it was like at the time when I was waking up, there was this one specific guy that I was um, see or trying to see anyway. And so it was like God was trying to wake me up to who this guy was. He was telling me that he is my twin flame. And so, long story short, I know I said that, but long story short, I moved. Um, to Chicago and that's where the journey began oh my god 2020 and um, he was just showing me showing me all these little you want to think that they're coincidences because how could they be happening but it's, it's not a coincidence I don't even believe in coincidences it's God and he was showing me and so but he started me with I got oh yes Bible <sighs> This is, this is what, this is my study guide. This is what I've been studying. So when I moved, so 2019, I was still living in St. Louis. And okay, I, I think I got about nine, 10 minutes. I'm at almost, I'm like almost five minutes. So let me go quickly. But I was living in St. Louis. 
um oh man this is so much i don't even know if i'm gonna have time i have to do another video to go into st louis but 2019 i dived real deep into church the bible you know i stayed on my path after i left minnesota got deeper into it started studying real hard you know formed this relationship with god like i was not playing and then something happened something happened in 2019 and then um I, I, but I wasn't woke then, but things were happening. Now that I look back, I see that things were happening. And so, 2020, I moved to Chicago from St. Louis. And, you know, I thought I had my career, you know, my new city, new hair, new, oh, uh, um, my little cute condo, brownstone. You know, I had all, get started my new life over again. I was going to get my new husband, and I did not. It, it became this twin flame roller coaster like roller coaster so but anyway that's what God said and so he led me to start studying the Bible like so I was still going to church I was doing church online because you know it was in St. Louis but I, and then I'm going to talk about that too because um I no longer go to church now but I'll go into talk about that and tell you why later um but so now I've been studying the Bible and um let me see what was I about to say I don't even know but I'm gonna just go to where I was about to go he started leading me to places so from the number to twin flame numbers I started researching the twin flame stuff and what online was saying and then I'm like okay so I'm getting that part and then God started taking the numbers and put directing me to them in the Bible so the verses you know like the 222 number I would see is a verse for that so that's how I got connected to the Bible from the world or like online so but anyway to, back to the twin flame stuff because remember i was asking for a husband my home and my career and so he told me that this guy is my husband he's my spiritual husband he's my twin flame so that he's gonna be my husband and so but the thing is i didn't know i thought i was just okay i moved here and i get it no it's a process and i didn't know that and so but anyway we go to where god showed me to go Genesis um, chapter 2 and first it was 222 so I was led to Genesis 222 chapter 2 verses 22 and it says let me pause the music it says and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man and so when I read that, I was like, oh my God, that's what, that's what you just did, God. That's what you did. You brought me to Chicago to this man. And then I was like, okay, okay, let me get him. Again, it's 2020. Okay, that's great. I'm going to get married. No, that's not what happened. And so, but now if you go back and read the whole chapter, or not the whole chapter, but verses 2 or verses 21 through 25, it talks about, um, man and wife husband and wife adam and eve and the the marriage this is what i put on my blog it's um the godly black marriage and so this is what god led me to to base marriage on okay is that eight all right let me read it real quick because my phone might cut off so verse 221 and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Verse 222. And, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her up to him. Verse 23. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called a woman because she was taken out of man. 24. Therefore shall man leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. 25. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and they were not ashamed. So what God was telling me is that I think, I guess these were years? Because 2020 would have been when Adam gave all the names. Okay, so verse 20 says, And Adam gave names to all the cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found to help me. And so 2020 was when I was moved to Chicago. And in 2021, we kept trying to connect. But this is when God said that Adam was asleep. So he wasn't woke. That's that's the message. So he was not woke. He was asleep. 222, two, two, he brought me to the man. That's this year. 222. Two, two. So 
that I don't know that hasn't happened yet because we're not he together he didn't bring us together yet but if I'm correct he's gonna this is two 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 this is the year 